What's up everybody, Patchak JW. Thanks for clicking on this video. I have a really cool old vintage revolver. You've seen this on the channel. It's a Colt Agent. It's a nice little 38 snub revolver. It's an alloy frame, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a disassembly on this uh, fine revolver. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we wanna do is take off the grips and you wanna make sure your screwdriver tip is the correct one for there and so that uh, avoids stripping it out. Now, this sometimes are a little bit difficult to do these on camera and to get the proper angle and everything. Okay, and there we go. Sometimes the initial uh, break to get it going, especially if it hasn't been disassembled for a long time, is uh, kind of difficult. Now, generally, now because this one is alloy framed, uh, you might not have so much of a problem, but a lot of the uh, other carbon uh, framed uh, revolvers and such, and you know, even even this is not uh, not a bad thing to check. Always check under the grips of the revolvers or any gun for that matter, especially the, uh, the wood grips and whatnot. It can rust and uh, cause corrosion under there, and you may not even see it. The rest of the gun looks great except for under the the grips. Okay, so now that that's all out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cylinder out. I you may do this differently. Um, everybody does it differently. I do the the way this. Take the cylinder out. All right. So I want to grab this. Make sure again, because sometimes these have different uh, screws. I just want to go over what I have here and make sure. Okay, these seem to be about the same. We'll go ahead and use this one. Okay. So this is the screw that takes off the cylinder. Again, I'm being really careful. I don't want to have anything slip off and scratch anything. You can actually tape around here with some blue tape, blue painter's tape or something, just in case you don't want to. Um, now mine, what I do is when I get it started, I just go ahead and take the bit out of the screwdriver itself and just uh, go by hand without the big uh, screwdriver and, and uh, getting in the way. <laughs> so, all right. So the thing about Colts is the way they have theirs set up is they have a little cap, a little uh, head, and a spring that lives in the middle. That's just the way Colt does it. It's a little different than Smith & Wesson. Okay, so now we got that out. All we have to do is release the cylinder, and I turn it to a flute, if it has flutes, and go ahead and pull the... Okay, so the cylinder's off, and it's kind of all held in together. You'll notice uh, this... Well, I'm not gonna go ahead and disassemble it because it's kind of a, a bugger to do, but well, how this is all working is inside the crane, there's a spring, and the spring is held in by a cap that goes into the top and screws in and countersinks into it with the ejector rod running through in the center and screwing up into the ratchet pad. Um, it's not really recommended to take this apart. I usually don't. Um, I have done it to pythons, it's, it's kind of a, <laughs> it was a little bit of a disaster. Okay, so next we're gonna take apart the, or take off the side plate here. And you'll see the two screws, one and two. And we'll go ahead and do so. Very carefully, and then once it comes out a bit, I usually just uh, grab it with my fingers and take it off. Okay, there we go. Again, sometimes they're a little snug, so you might want to hold on, make sure you don't uh, accidentally slip with the screwdriver or scratch the gun itself. All right, um, always make sure you look at the screws in case they're different, in case uh, this one's different than that one. So in this case, it, um, it actually, I don't know if it'll show up right on camera, this one here looks a little smaller to me it does look slightly different. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that uh, separate on the side. Go ahead and uh, we'll take off the frame here, or the uh, side plate, I'm sorry. The side plate off the frame. And there's, I've seen other people use the, uh, the method like the Smith & Wesson, which they take the screwdriver and push it under there and pop it. Only problem with the Colt is there's actually a little thinner piece of metal right there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying not to scratch my gun right here, but there it runs right there. It's a lot thinner than the rest of it, and you can actually risk damaging that. 
So what I do is I just take the uh, end of the screwdriver and just give it a couple of just light, real light taps. And what I want to do also is watch the uh, cylinder release latch here because it will jet off and there's a little spring and detent in there that's rather small. Okay, there we go. And that's all it took. You can actually see it lifted off and I held this in place. Okay, carefully remove the side plate. And here you'll see under the latch is there's a spring with a little detent right there. They're very small and they can it can come apart and you may not ever see them again and wonder why your latch doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, so that lives right inside there. Put them back in there. There. And I usually keep this unit together. And now what you can do back to going to those screws right here is take them and put them back into place if they're uh, indeed a separate size and set that aside. So you just don't uh, get uh, overwhelmed with parts everywhere and forget. All right, so the next thing we want to do is take out the spring. You'll see it right here, it runs, runs right through there. And the way you do that is you just push it from one side and guide it out and you just gotta, and it comes right out. Um, sometimes you're gonna have to work with them. It, it may be uh, wedged in there pretty good. So there's your spring. And the next part is the rebound lever. And that is this, this right here that runs across and it's held in by pin right there. And I believe the pin will go either way. I'll go ahead and uh, set this little punch right here carefully. And we don't uh, need a whole lot of force. Okay, so the uh, pin Right there. Now, if you have trouble with it, you might want to try a little penetrating oil, or uh, uh, I like the product Croil, and to just try to loosen some things up in there so you're not just uh, hammering away. Okay, so during the uh, process of taking that out, the um, the rotation hand uh, that ratchets the uh, cylinder came out here. And that lives just right here. You can see, I'll put it back just so you can see. And that, that'll just come out. It lives right there in the trigger. And there's a hole where that post goes. All right, so now that we got the rebound lever out, the pin out, just kind of move it and it'll come out. Just kind of remember the way it goes back in. You'll see it. Okay. So now the uh, the hammer is ready to come out. You pretty much just pull the, the trigger, the hammer will come to the rear and just lift right out. You see the uh, sear and the, uh, the stirrup and everything is all intact. Okay, so now you'll see there's kind of interesting parts in there, isn't there? That's all the uh, safety bar and all that. Now we can just, uh, we'll take out this actually, I think, take that out. That's the uh, cylinder, that's what locks the cylinder in place. So when you pull, you'll see it actually uh, where it goes. It's that goes through the frame and locks it up right there into the center of the cylinder. Okay, now that that's out, we should be able to lift this right out. There it comes. The whole unit comes out. This does come apart. You want to be careful and make sure you look at it carefully the way it uh, comes out. You see the way it's held in. One end of the uh, slot is larger and it will come off there. Slip it back through and then lock it into place. Same with the uh, this up here. So be careful about this because it only should go back one way. So you want to kind of keep that little unit together. All right, 
So pretty much all that's left is this uh, cylinder stop hand on the bottom. And that you just uh, take a little screwdriver, go in there. What I'm getting in there is the uh, screw. Right, I get the lighting. Right there, there's a screw. And that's what we need to take off. I use my uh, thumb as a guide a little bit. Because this thing is screwed into the frame. And being this is an alloy frame, I want to be really careful not to strip any threads. Okay. There it is, the little screw. And there's a spring. There's a spring right wedged right between there. You may not be able to see it. It's kind of dark in there. There it is right there. Okay. So when taking that out, I want to make sure that I keep an eye on that wherever that goes. It lives right in the bottom right there. Okay. Well, there you have it. And that is pretty much everything out of this gun. And that is a Colt agent and how to take out all the internal parts in there. Again, um, did not go over this because it's um, just, it's not necessary. And without the, I like to have, I would like to have the proper tool, the wrench to do this if I was gonna go into that instead of just wrapping a piece of leather and wrenching it with a pair of pliers. Um, just not something I wanna do. All right, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Batch JW. like, share, and subscribe.